All right, hello everybody. We're here with Tamara Chase today from Chase Roofing. So Tamara, if you would take a moment and just introduce yourself, um, your company and your role with the organization. Hi, yes, I am Tamara Chase and I am the proud team member at Chase Roofing. Um, I am currently the CEO and team's biggest cheerleader. <laughs> Excellent, and, and tell us a little about about your organization and who you specifically serve. Okay, so, well, we've served the South Florida community for this our 18th year. So um, that's been exciting. And then we also have um, an office up in Tampa. So we've been serving that area, I don't know, it's been like eight or nine years now. And we, we also use that team to go down to Orlando and up to Jacksonville as well. So sort of use that as a hub. Sort of like Excellent. how we do here in Broward, going up to Palm Beach and and Dade. So, so you're pretty much up and down the state, aren't you? We are. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. So roof, roofs are our special. Uh, roof repairs are our specialty, and then we also do re roofs for select customers. So, but usually you have to be. We don't advertise or anything for re roofs. It's t it tends to be customer relation or referrals that that we get our that we get for our re roofs other, other than that, a lot of people call us for roof repair, so. Good for you, excellent. And uh, Tamara, what has been your biggest challenge over the last couple of months in the cycle we've had to go through and how have you been able to migrate through it? Oh, through COVID? Yes. Ooh, a lot of hours, a lot of hours for smaller traction for sure. I mean, just, just, um, just being able to be in tune with what the customers are feeling and going with their with themselves, what the employees are going through, just really, really tiling in and really, um, I would say, getting a pulse of what they're experiencing and how we can react to it. So, I mean, the first stage was just just trying to sort it out and just trying to process it and going through all the different stages that that has, you know. And I, I know I could have laid people off. Um, I really struggled real hard with that because I was concerned about putting them on unemployment and then how long that would take to get started. And just, I just felt like the weight of paying the bills and yeah, I felt the weight of, of trying to keep things going as, as much as we could. Um, for the first couple of weeks, we were just doing a lot just to, to um, really find out the resources for the lending and, and the PPP and all that. So you know what the requirements were so that was that was quite a process and um you know thankful we had a good team around us with really good people we could sub lean on to, to do their thing and give us good answers so that was good and um so any employee who didn't want to work they i i said go go on an employment and don't stress about it and you're not going to hurt our feelings at all and anyone who wanted to work we figured out something to do for them so we were often paying them when they were doing little things that we could find to do so um, so and another thing we did in that process was we um, we created a a way to sort of give back. I, I was just thinking, going like, what can I do to serve the community and to keep us going here? So um, I realized that with our, my other company, Shine, who does window cleaning and holiday lighting and gutter cleaning and stuff like that. So I combined the two. And I said, anybody who wants to work and we didn't have work on the schedule, we were just going to go out and give back to first responders. So we went around and did um, roof, to re roof debris removal and gutter cleaning and cleaned the exterior of the windows for the first responders. And it, that, that's like instantly picked up everyone's spirit. So it was, I think, probably as good for us as it was for them because it's just, it was just such a good feel good thing. So and we've continued doing that. So they could, we have if, if you know a first responder or um or if you are a first responder they um they can go to our website we have chase roofing shines community and they can sign up there and we're still doing that now we'll still do what we're doing on um, four a week so good for around, you around. good yeah, for you so giving back and that's interesting it somewhat leads to my next question uh if you'd be so kind to touch on your organization's core values and how that makes a difference and you just shined on that a little bit previously yeah so we have a unique approach we um we really emphasize on the the happiness of our of our employees first 
And that's sort of like a bottom down approach with a lot of people. But I, I feel that having good character and added to the skills we can teach are what makes a great employee. And so we really strive on giving to the employee and taking really good care of the employee first. And so in our situation, the employees then are really happy to take care of the customers and then the customers naturally take care of the business. So that's sort of the approach that we've done. Um, it's worked really, really well. We hire on character first always. I only hire people that I would let in my own house. And that, that's a big difference, you know, when you can trust of who, who you're going to send out and not worry about it. You know, the people, these, these um, people that we, we hire going in people's houses and it's, it's important to us. So um, that's one of our thing. Um, we're really big on personal accountability and uh, we really try to have authentic communication with each other. We're a very team approach. So, you know, sometimes roofing projects can be really involved and there's a lot of pieces that are going on behind the scenes. So, you know, having those daily huddles and the, the streamlined process that we, that we use for communication really helps the, homeowner and the salesperson agree to something and then we can deliver what they've promised so that that is it's important to us so that probably is what leads to a lot of customer referrals excellent and uh it's such a key factor in any successful business take care of the team team takes care of the customers customer Hi. takes care of the business business takes care of you because that's why you started your business in the first place and it's so and, and it's been a common theme around a lot of these interviews i've been doing is take care of the team and it, it's such good advice but unfortunately some people just miss that message yeah so there's an interesting question for you tomorrow uh, it's been said smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others mm -hmm. uh, so would you be able to share some of the mistakes you've made along the way and how other <laughs> entrepreneurs and listeners today can learn from that experience yes so many mistakes actually by the time the mistakes are done then then they're really opportunities to learn so that's how i sort of look at it and sometimes um we've had some situations that are really scary and sometimes logically all i can think about is this is going to be a huge lesson that i'm going to learn from in the future because sometimes they're really scary so yes learning from others so you don't have to go through it yourself is wonderful um, I'd say some of our biggest mistakes were um, not understanding the numbers of business correctly at the beginning, not understanding true overhead and how much to really charge for. So what I often see is um, we did the same thing. When you come new on the market, you know what you know, and you think, okay, there's this and this, and that's what I've counted for, and they charge the amount and they win job because they haven't included everything and um and that was a that that was a really big mistake for us for a long time is what we were we never had a problem with sales and so what happened was we started having issues with cash flow and then we started looking like why are we having such issues with cash flow and we real actually we got a coach <laughs> and an action coach was our our first coach and they taught us how to do the five ways and they taught us how to look at what your really number what your real numbers are and uh, we would we realized that we were selling it for for less than what it cost us to do so that's why we were having cash flow issues so we weren't uh, truly accounting for um overhead cr correctly we weren't truly accounting for warranties for later down the road so a warranty is only as good as the company going to do it and you see roofing companies got out of business within five years of, large processes because when things start to happen down the road they haven't saved enough in a warranty to be able to go out and manage it so um that was that was a big um learning lesson for us getting the right people sometimes I, it always goes back to like character and just do what feels right because sometimes if it, if it looks too good to be true it's too, it's too good to be true it's better to have people that are um, season can give you good advice and you know help help guide you through, through the areas um, I, I, I'd say the next biggest one <laughs> was in a was a relationship with the banker and I know it sounds silly but we had um, when you have issues with cash flow and you're trying to take these bigger jobs and you can't because your cash flow is like holding you down like as you grow you need money for capital to be able to handle it all and uh, we took a couple large jobs and it stopped our cash flow it, it was 
if I would have had a relationship like I do now with a banker, I would have called at the beginning of the job and said, you know, at the beginning of the process and said, hey, listen, what can we do here? And they would have forwarded you some capital and you would have had that to be able to get you to the job and not stressed out. So that, that I would definitely, you know, I wish I knew then what I know now. So th those were, I'd say probably the two biggest ones. Good. <laughs> and of course, just like having good people around you. We've learned that lesson where, you know, the, the, the personality, the true intent of someone sometimes is more important than a mistake they can make. So I'd much rather have somebody who has a good heart and truly is really looking at the bigger picture of the company instead of, you know, their self-interest, I guess I would say. So, yeah. Yeah, you could always, somebody that has heart and soul, you could always teach them the skills, but someone that has a skill yeah. doesn't have the heart and soul. And exactly. That's, just, that's too much. It's like it. a glass ceiling. There's only so much you can do with that. Excellent. So. Well, good for you. And you know, what's great is, uh, you know, you had a coach to guide you. And it's amazing mm -hmm. that it always starts with knowing your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, uh, yes. you're going to yes. make some serious mistakes. And then one day you yep. look at it and say, what the heck was I thinking? So, yeah, and I can see the, I can see roofing companies that that I see estimates that come in, and I I know which ones are going to go out of business in a couple of years. I can tell by you know they're just not charging the amount they need to charge to properly handle what's going to happen later. <laughs> so, well, unfortunately, well, these are lessons. <laughs> amen. Uh, one last question, uh, and what? Um, Final piece of advice would you give to our listeners and entrepreneurs out there today that you could think of be of some value? Mm. Oh, I have one. <laughs> be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself first because owners have a zillion hats. And if you're not taking care of yourself first and having some quiet time or whatever you need, whether you meditate or uh, whatever it is you need to do, you need to take time for yourself and, and come in with your cup floweth over because you're able to give so much more when you just take that time. It's sort of like planning for a job, you know, five minutes of prep saves you, you know, a lot of aggravation later. It's the same thing for your body. So take, uh, take time for yourself. Be kind to yourself first before you're taking care of everyone else. <laughs> Such That's valuable amazing. advice because a business owner and a leader of an an organization can definitely get tied up in a business and become a hamster on a reel and get burned out pretty quickly. So yeah, yeah. good, good quality advice for our listeners. Well, again, Tamara, <laughs> if anybody out there is looking to get their roof done, she's your gal. All her information will be on this video. So I want to thank you for your time today, Tamara. And uh, this was a great interview and good luck to you and your family and your organization for the future.